Okay, students, today we are going to be, uh, we're going to be doing stations. So today, um, at each station, you're going to be moving between, you're going to be moving between each station, and at each station, you're, you're going to be answering one question, okay? So, at each station, there will be directions. There will be an in short, which basically summarizes the directions and makes it easier for you to read. There will be a picture of some kind relating to the station. And there will be um, something for you to do. Okay, so station one. At this station, you're going to be taking turns, two at a time, to use bird beaks, or these clothes pins. These are your bird beaks, to catch worms inside of rice this is your rice or your dirt this is your dirt this is where your worms would be what i want you to do is to dig down and try and find some worms inside this pile now i want you to use the clothespins to catch worms two people at a time that's why there are two close two clothespins so two people at a time you're going to dig in this this and try and find some worms, okay? Now the other two people, there's four people in your group, the other two people at this station should be answering the questions and looking at this picture. Okay, so the other two people in your group should be looking at this picture. This shows you different bird beaks and um, what they're used for, okay? So for example, this one is the generalist. It's used for all sorts of things, specifically for insects for seed eating or for fruit eating. So I want you to look at that and then answer the question. Okay, so station two is cactuses. What I want you to do is to look at the picture of the cactus that I've given you and then um, use this cup. This cup would have uh, toothpicks in it. I didn't have toothpicks, but this cup would have toothpicks in it and it would be simulating a cactus. So all, of, all four of you can look at the cup and the cactus, cactus at once. Um, and look at the pictures, which I will show you. And look at the pictures. So you see this picture, these pictures of the cactus? It shows you different types, and then I want you to answer the question at this station. So, station three would have a picture of colorful flowers in a field. And in those colorful flowers would be hidden colorful beads, both of which I do not have, but I'm explaining to you what uh, you will what you would see at this station. So you'd see a colorful picture full of colors, blues, yellows, greens, and lots of different flowers. And hidden on that page would be different colored beads. Now I want two people at a time to go up, try and find the beads. Don't tell each other where they're at, just try and find them first. Don't touch the picture either, because that could cause a problem. You can move the beads and things would get out of whack. Don't touch the picture, don't touch the beads. Just try and find the beads hidden on the piece of paper. Okay, so two people should be finding the beads, two people should be answering the question at this station, and then you'll swap and then share your answers, okay? Station four is about claws. So, one person at a time, I want you to don your claws, these claws, they're spoons, and then I want you to dig in the dirt. I want you to use these claws to dig away at the dirt, to dig away. See I'm digging away the dirt? I want you to use your claws to do the same. And be careful not to spill any, because that could be a problem. And if you do spill any, that's okay. Just be sure to pick it up and then either put it back in the bowl or throw it away. And after you're done with this activity, you can wash your hands. Station 5 is matching the adaptations that you have with the... Um, matching the adaptations that animals have with tools that humans have created, okay? So first, we have the, these pictures. As we see here, we have a polar bear in his fur coat, and we have a man dressed in a coat. So, we can compare the polar bear to the man in the coat, and then make that connection. Now, at the station, there'll be different pictures that you have to match up uh, to what might work together, okay? This one is a camel. The camels store water because they're in the desert all the time. This is a cup or a bottle that also stores water. So what you're going to do 
is you're going to look at the pictures, you're going to match them up, work together as a team, and then answer the question at this station. Thank you. And goodbye. Have fun.